Good morning learners, staff, parents and the DF Malerbe community. Vandaag is dit vir my een besondere voorrecht om die leerders, personeel, ouders en die breer DF Malerbe gemeenskap by die gedenkdag feestvieringe te verwelkom. Ons is trots om hierdie geleentheid te vier en so ook om dit met julle te kan deel. Die formaat van vandagse geleentheid is anders as vorige jare se feestvieringe, waar daar een prestige funksie met de bekende spreker genooi is om die schoolgemeenschap toe te spreek. As gevolg van die huidige omstandighede waarin ons onszelf bevind, het die school dit goed gedink om die formaat aan te pas, maar terzelfde tijd steeds hulde te bring aan die bekende Afrikaanse schrijver en dichter waarna ons school vernoem is. Ons school is vernoem na Daniel François Malherbe, natuurlijk meer bekend als Dave Malherbe, wat op hierdie dag, 28 mei, in de jaar 1881 geboren is. En wat nou bekend staan als die Westkap. Die heeft maar leer bij het een reuze aandeel gehad in die vestiging van Afrikaans. En ons is geweldig trots dat ons school na hom vernoem is. Every year schools celebrate their respective Founders Days to commemorate the day when the school was founded or a significant event in the history of the school. Commemorating the school's Founders Day is important since it is the opportunity for us as a school community to reflect on our collective heritage but also consider the remarkable changes that have taken place in our school over a considerable number of years. Today's Founders Day celebrations will be in the form of a virtual assembly that we, as a staff, have proudly compiled to commemorate our DF Malherbe heritage and at the same time celebrate our shared DF Malherbe future. We have embraced the changes in our school community and are extremely proud to be known as a value-driven school. Dief Malherbe ontstaan vir respect, integriteit, responsibility, empathy en uitnemendheid or excellence and strive to make these values part of our everyday lives. Ons leese Staat hij uit Petra. Baie dankie. Thank you.
Goeiedag DF, Goedai DF. Ek wil graag vir julle lees uit 2 Korintiërs 5 vanaf vers 11. Since then, we know what it is to fear the Lord. We try to persuade others. What we are is plain to God, and I hope it is also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us, so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than what is in the heart. If we are out of our mind, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Dief, ons moet trots wees daarop om christene te wees. Ons moet trots wees om Jesus te volg. And then we also should take pride in our school. We should pride ourselves at what we are doing here. Ons moet trots wees op ons mede malarbiete. Ons moet trots wees op ons akademie. Ons moet trots wees op dit wat ons doen. Want as ons trots is op dit wat ons doen, sal ons ons beste gee. Kom ons sluit die oor. Jemelvader, baie dankie vir die voorig wat ons het, om ons stil te kan raak by jy. Dankie Heere, dat ons maar mag trots wees op GF. Dankie dat ons maar mag trots wees op mekaar. Heere, gee ook dat ons altyd trots sal wees om jy te volg. Ons eerie vir wie jy is. Amen. In januari 1955 word die Afrikaanse hoerskool in Womer gevestig met 143 leders. In 1957 word die school vernoem na professor Daniel François Malherbe, die bekende Afrikaanse skrywe, dichter en dramatur, as ook medestichter van die Afrikaanse taalbeweging in 1906. Professor Malherbe is ook die skrywe van die Afrikaanse woorde van die schoollied wat ons vandag nog sing. Reeds in 1955 is besluit op een schoolwapen met die leese Staan Rotswas, wat die strewe om waardige en nuttige burgers vir Zuid-Afrika te lever verboord. Today, our motto, Stade Oud Petram, continues to express the desire to prepare our learners to be worthy and dependable citizens of our country. In 2011, the school welcomed its first English grade 8 class, and we have since been going from strength to strength as a parallel and dual medium school. The learners of the school have been involved in extramural activities from the beginning. The first inter-house athletics meeting was held in 1956 at the Westbourne Oval. In 1955, two netball teams were entered into the league matches. In these photographs, we have the UCSA group leaders of 1958, the first team rugby players and the first team netball players of 1955, as well as the first cricket team of 1958. Deer die jare het die Deve Malherbe top presteerders op akademiese gebied gelever. Male sonder tal het ons matrikulante a 100% slaagcijfer behaal. In 1986 behaal het Malherbiet Jacobus Oerendal die eerste positie in die graad 12 examen in die Kaap provincie. Verskye van ons leders behal posities in die top 20 van die nationale senior certificaat examen oor die jare. The matric class of 2020 managed to excel in the final examination in spite of the hurdles they had to overcome because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Voorwaar iets om op trots te wees. DF learners participate competitively in various sporting codes, such as tennis, girls and boys hockey, athletics, cross country, netball and rugby, as well as girls and boys cricket and golf. Over the years, our sportsmen and women have proved that we do not stand back when it comes to competitiveness, determination and talent. Our learners participate in a variety of activities and continue to make us proud on so many levels on a daily basis. Since 1995, 
we have been participating in an annual inter-schools competition. Firstly, we competed against Nicomalan High School and more recently against Dispatch High School. During inter-schools, we compete not only in the different sporting codes, but in cultural activities as well. The enthusiasme waarmee DF's leaders voorberei en deelneem tijdens interskole is a bron van trots vir elkeen verbonde aan die school. Ons leerderse kultuurlewe is vol hoogtepunte. Ons dink kan die muziek bly spele, wat die afgelopen paar jaar op die planke gebring is. Daar was Shout in 2019, Breke Been en Liefling, om maar net een paar te noem. The mass participation of our learners in the productions creates a sense of belonging and is a source of great pride. Together we can. Ons neem ook deel aan die artikel via redenaars en debatcompetities, vastvra en the Herald Quiz, as ook English debating. Over the years, DF Malarbe became well known for an annual extravaganza held during August. This is known as our Voorblad Nooi Mr. Heinz DF competition. A group of 20 finalists, 10 sons and 10 daughters, het on die competitie deelgeneem en bekende persoonlikhede van die stad het as beoordelaars opgetree. DF Malerbe het voorwaar baie aantreklike manne en beeldskone dames. The format of the competition has changed recently, but it is still an event to be proud of. By DF Malerbe is ons trots om te sê, ons is a waarde gedrewe school. We strive to be people who show respect and live with integrity, empathy, responsibility and excellence. We raise the bar to the highest levels possible, but we know that we are more than capable. Ons staan rotsvast by ons waardes. Die school het oor die jare een paar unieke en positieve tradities opgebouw waarop ons baie trots is. Ons jaarlikse seestap verskaf baie pret en plesier en laat die lede van ons die familie met baie goeie herinneringe. Since 1983, our matrix have annually toured to the Drakensberg region to explore the various mountain hikes and other attractions of the area. Many a proud Malerbit will be able to share a memory of conquering the heights and surviving the dangers encountered on this tour. In 2018, a group of our learners represented South Africa at the Robotics World Championships held in Texas, USA. This was a very proud moment in the history of the school, pioneers of the fourth industrial revolution. As ons so terugkijk, oor 66 jaar van school wees, kan ons met recht sê, dat ons deel is van een instantie om op trots te wees, en behoort elke van ons te strewe na uitnemendheid in alles wat ons doen en sê. We congratulate our school on its 66th birthday, and together with all who went before us, we say, Stade ut Petram. We now listen to a few messages from DF alumni. Kom ons luister na paar oud-leerders. Hallo, ek is Mousy Kannemeyer. Ek was in Woordschool DF Malerbe vanaf 2009 tot 2013. En daarna het ek drama en theaterstudie aan die Universiteit van Stellenbos gaan studeer. En op die oomblik is ek bezig om my meestersgraad te voltooi in drama aan die Universiteit van Stellenbos. Ek is ook een skryver, een regisseer, een meningsvormer, een theatermaker en een student van die lewe. And when I think of my time in Dev, I can really with all honesty say that those were some some of the best years of my life. Um, the teachers were all very supportive and they were always there to help. I made some incredible friends, friends who I am still in contact with today. And also just all the opportunities that the school had to offer. Ek het rarag seker gemaakt dat ek aan soveel as moendlik goeders deelneem, want dit was vir my lekker om by die school te wees. En wanneer jy die school baie keer aantrek en dan 
voel jy net, soos, wow, hierdie is, hierdie is een plek van ondersteuning, dit is een plek van liefde, en natuurlijk, natuurlijk was daar ook moeilike tye, maar die goeie ding is ook dat daar altijd iemand om te luister, daar is altijd iemand wat als een vangnet kan dien vir jou as jy miskien bezig is om te val. En dan moet ik ook net noem dat ik een van die ontvangers was van die Dieter Schools Beheer Schema. Baie, baie dankie aan die school vir die initiatief en dankie aan die Dieter Schools familie wat die initiatief in plek gestel het. En ja, my advies aan mensen wat nou in DF is of mensen wat miskien DF toe gaan kom is, Geniet het. Maak zeker dat jij deelneem, maak zeker dat jij um, vrienden maakt en rarig, soos dit is een eer om die school sy baie aan te trek en dit is rarig een eer om in die school te wees en ja, ek, ek is die spuitie en die heeft het my, die heeft really set me up for life, you know, um, it like, it was my foundation and now I, I can speak up when I want to speak up. I I know how to use my voice. I know how to ask what I want for. And those are things that Dev really instilled in me in the time that I was there. So, really, in the school's lesson, stand rotsvast. Dit is, dit is een goeie lezen om net dier die leven te dra. En dit is my levenslese tot vandag toe. Ek staan roods vast en ja, ek is, ek is rarig erg baie lief vir die school en ek kan nie wacht om vir julle toekom keir he. <laughs> maar ja, um, geniet dit en, en weet net, daar is altyd iemand om jou te vang. Ok, dankie, bye! Goeiedag, Meren Waller Pietze en onderwijsers. Maar dankie vir die geleentheid om weer deel te wees van hierdie speciale geleentheid, hierdie speciale school en hierdie speciale dag. Voor die van julle wat my nie onthou nie, my naam is Tom Watson en ek was in 2015 by TF geweest. Ek was in die Vroekaarsense klas geweest van groot 8 tot en met matriek, voor die van julle wat dan nog kan onthou. Toe meneer die prima geskakel het om te vraag wie ek deelkom is van hierdie speciale dag, het ek onmiddellik ja gesê. Van as die school wat jou die mens gemaakt het wie jy vandag is, is dit jou plig om terug te gee in enige manier moendlik. Toe ek die heeft in 2015 verlaat het, het ek net weggestap met de betrek certificaat nie. Ek het weggestap met herinneringe, levenslange vriende, kennis vir die lewe en ek het meestal weggestap met trots. Trots op die school waarvan ek kom en trots oor wanneer dit my nog aan vat. Since I've left TF, I've obtained 3 degrees, 1 undergraduate degree and 2 postgraduate degrees in, in management. I'm also a junior lecturer at the local university and I'm currently pursuing my PhD where my study aims to develop scenarios for reimagining the digital landscape of South African higher education institutions. The reason for me telling you this is not to brag, but to show you of what you can achieve when you put your mind to it. I've sat in the same desk as you, I've walked through the same walls as you, and I've put on the same blazer that you so proudly wear. Being proud of where you come from makes you a better person. If I could have it all over again, I would not have it any other way. Do you have salt in my school vest? You scored my career to trots the vest of myself, die school waar ek my beste vriend ontmoet het en tans nog steeds beste vriende is. En as jy een ding van my af kan wegvat, is glo in jouself, wees trots op jouself en wees trots op jou school. Dankie aan al die wonderlijke onderwijsers wat dag en dag werk om seker te maak dat allemaal van julle alles het wat julle nodig het, om seker te maak dat julle veilig en gezond is en om julle te hanteer soos julle eie kinders. Dankie again for this opportunity, ek bid dat julle die heeft reiklik sal sien. Hi, my name is Emma Kotze. I matriculated from DF Malherbe in 2009. I now reside in Cape Town and I work as an actor and project manager. When I was asked what made me proud to go to school at DF Malherbe and, and what stood out for me um, from the school and my schooling years, I must truly say uh, that it, it is the fact that the school might have not at the time been the biggest school or the wealthiest school, but most definitely a school with an enormous heart. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. Um, the school was always open to, to new opportunities and to new ideas and, and really gave us the tools and the opportunity to, to um, investigate and, and build out those ideas. We often ran into the principal's office with, with a new, new concept and we, we had a budget and we had a proposal and he'd go, 
yes, go for it. If you can find the funding and you can still finish your schooling and all the things you need to academically, go for it and make us proud. And and I think that really stands out to me as, as one of the most incredible things I took from DF Malarba. And it's it's only much later speaking to colleagues and friends and talking about their schooling schooling careers that I, I realized what kind of freedom we were awarded and also what that unlocked in us. Um, I truly believe that that a lot of entrepreneurial skills and, and uh, negotiation skills came from those opportunities because if you could present it and you could stick to it and you could be responsible for your idea, almost anything was welcome. And and I think that truly is is very unique to DF Malarba and, and we see it as a result. And in, in still in the city, a lot of business owners um, have come out of DF Malarba across the country, people working for big international firms like SOTA, a huge architecture firm, Amazon as network engineers, Daimler Benz as software developers. These are all people that have come out of DF Malarba. Let's not forget Marizan Kapp, the captain of the ladies' Protea cricket team, leading our country. And uh, Dev Malarba really creating those opportunities, despite the fact that we had a tiny, tiny cricket team, giving Marizan the opportunity to, to develop and hone those skills. And, and to see her where she is now is just so incredible and makes me so proud to have um, gone to Dev Malarba and so incredibly grateful for the vast opportunities that they helped harness and help, helped hone um, individuals that came out of the school. Hi there, dear family. I'm Reginald Hafki, known as Reggie Peace. That's my stage name. I am a former Muller Beat. Yeah, and I just want to say something to all the students. So, I must say, starting at DA for me was a highlight. And that was the school that just catapulted me into a driven, disciplined, focused young man. So yeah, that is where, that is basically what the school taught me and, and much more than just um, drive and discipline and focus. I mean, there you, you get taught endurance, perseverance, and you get challenged a lot as well, but you get challenged to to become more than anything, better at your academics, better, at your sport, but most importantly, also a better person. And yeah, and I just, I actually want to say thank you to the school for, for playing a huge role in, in my life. And I am currently an actor and a, and a writer and a singer. Yeah, you can see me on Generations The Legacy and some other shows as well. Also, my music is, is, yeah, is being well received across the country and I'm grateful for that. But I must say I'm, I'm, I'm using all the principles and everything that I've learned at school and that even helped me through university. Yeah, thank you so much. You guys are in an amazing school. Peace and love. Ek is Annemie Wommerans en het in 2004 aan hoerskool Dave Malarbe gematrikuleer. Iets wat ek altyd van Dave sal onthou, is die passie waarmee daar onder een gegeven was. Of het nou extra redenaars afrachting was na school, of net nog een oulike wiskinde sommekie. Daar die passie was aansteeklik. After school, I decided to pursue my passion for mathematics and studied BCom Actuarial Science at the University of Stellenbosch and attained my honours degree in 2008. Thereafter, I continued my studies to become a qualified actuary through the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries in the United Kingdom. Upon qualification in April 2013, I was awarded the prestigious international award called the Charles M. Stern Award. This award was for the top international qualifier based on the specialist exams in that, in that specific year. Previous winners of this award was from countries like Singapore, India, Switzerland, 
Ireland, just to name a few. So I was very honoured and humbled to be informed that I had the best overall performance in my specialist exams internationally. I've been working at the Metropolitan Momentum Group for the last 10 years, managing different teams of technical actuaries in various departments. I also have received a number of nominations and awards for leadership at this company. I can vandag getuig that a good foundation by the school a great verschil maak daar buite. Ons, ek kan eerlijk sê dat die gehalte van onderrig wat ons by DF ontvang is gelijkstaande aan wereldklas. Ek het gauw geleer dat mens nie hoef terug te staan vir enig iemand daar buite nie en ons gehalte onderrig ons in staat stel om te kan competeer met die room van die wereld daar buite. So eerstens wil ek vandag vir DF sê baie geluk met die verjaarsdag. Ek is saam met amal baie trots op al die gelukkige en suksesverhaal wat hier ontstaan het. Maar ek wil vir al vandag sê, baie dankie vir die hart van die school, die onderwijsers, vir topgehalte onderrig, en vir al die geduld en enthousiasme waar my jylle elke dag aanpak, en talle leerders inspireer. Ek is en sal altyd een trotse malerbied blij. Ons lee hiermee een kraans neer ter herdenking aan professor D.F. Malerbe, na wie ons vernoem is. With this wreath, we celebrate 66 years of excellence. Let us stand and sing our school song. Die oorspronkelijke Afrikaanse woorde in die handskrif van professor Malerbe word hier vertoon. The English section of our school song was written by Mrs. Mariette de Toy Dodd, a legendary member of our English department for a number of years. <laughs> 